Each of our eyes normally sees a slightly different image, and the brain combines these two images into a single coherent representation. However, when the eyes are presented with images that are sufficiently different from each other, a pattern of perceptual alternations transpires. One image dominates awareness, while the other is suppressed. Dominance alternates between the two images, typically every few seconds. This perceptual phenomenon is known as binocular rivalry. To create a binocular rivalry stimulus, each eye is presented with a different image at the same perceived location. This video describes several inexpensive and straightforward ways to create and use binocular rivalry. Hi, I'm David Carmel. I'm a postdoc in the Department of Psychology at New York University. Hi, I'm Mike Arcaro, and I'm a graduate student in the Department of Psychology at Princeton University. In this video, we will describe a few cheap and straightforward ways to create and use binocular rivalry. Binocular rivalry is considered useful for studying perceptual selection and awareness in both human and animal models because unchanging input into each eye leads to alternations in visual awareness. There are several ways of creating binocular rivalry, but newcomers to the field are often uncertain which method would best suit their specific needs. Our goal here is to describe the advantages and disadvantages of the most common methods. So, let's get started. Binocular rivalry can be induced by presenting each eye with an irreconcilably different image at corresponding retinal locations. Instead of a single combined image, what observers normally see is a pattern of perceptual alternations in which each eye's image dominates conscious perception for a certain period while the other image is suppressed. Periods of dominance